What's going on everyone? I want to take a quick minute to talk to you about an app that I've been using. Uh, some of you may have heard of it already or uh, tried it out yourselves. It's called Center Stage. Um, card tracking for prices and uh, you can you can sort of track your collection inside this app. So that's what the icon looks like, Center Stage. Click on this thing, accesses your camera. And what you're able to do with this is take uh, actual photos of uh, your cards and it'll automatically pull uh, eBay prices for you, tell you where things are at. It's a little touchy. Um, if you get anything inside the image of the camera, um, it, it will take a shot of it. And many times it'll pop up an inaccurate card. So you gotta make sure you get the right angle on them um, so it can get you accuracy. I'm gonna show you a couple cards here. I got that Ronald Acuna P PSA 10, LeBron James SGC 10, and then a, a raw Joe Burrow. And I bring these up because there's uh, different aspects of the cards that this app will not pick up and grading is one of them in some cases. So um, for the Acuna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in front of the camera and I'm gonna show you sort of how it, uh, how it works. So when you put it in front of the camera, it's gonna take a shot and then it's going to give you um, what it pulls up for the screenshot. Now, two things I wanna show you. Uh, one, it's showing me the 2018 Acuna update base. Uh, and this one is actually the uh, Topps Complete Set, which is uh, Series 2. And so different cards, um, and, and I found this to be pretty consistent. But one thing that it does pull up here, you can see as I scroll down, it gives me raw prices. Um, but then it will also give me PSA 10, and uh, I think this one even goes down into PSA 9, gives a BGS 9.5 um, as options for you to uh, use for your pricing. Now, I've scanned this card a couple times, and it hasn't pulled up the correct or uh, accurate type uh, in it being the complete set card. Uh, but what I do want to show you is, uh, and, and the prices are fairly comparable. So I'll show you the uh, PSA 10 for the update series. Um, it's actually pretty close to what the complete set is. Um, you can find the complete set probably around $90 to $100 in a PSA 10. Um, but anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click to add this to my collection. And then it gives me uh, my options for raw PSA 10, PSA 9.5. And so if I wanted to do this, um, add it to my collection. I click the plus sign and then it's in my collection. It's ready to go. Um, again, not the uh, correct card, but close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the instance of the LeBron James with the SGC 10 and get a good shot of this. And you see it popped up the wrong card. It, it popped up a, uh, a football player, a gold version. So the angle of the card is very important in this. I'm gonna to try to get a better angle on it. See if it can stop thinking that this is a gold. And so see how it was closer, only it's the uh, red, white, blue version of the card. So I'm gonna try again here. All right, there we go. So we got closer on this. This is LeBron James 129 um, Prism card. And you can see it gives you PSA 10 options. PSA 9 options, and that's all it gives you. Yeah, I've yet to pull it up with a option for SGC. So clearly they're gonna track based on PSA, which is the, the gold standard. Um, but if you're looking to track uh, in comparable prices for a card like this, I would probably add it to my collection and I'd call it a, a PSA 9 or even a, a BGS 9.5 if I'm looking to track value of my collection. Um, so it's not going to pull up if you've got lower name, uh, HGA, GMA, um, it, it's probably not going to pull up and give you the option to add it your collection with that grader or prices that are comparable. So just something to keep it, you know, in mind, but I will say for raw cards, it is great. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of this Joe Burrow mosaic to give you an idea. All right. And so it popped up right away with the correct card. Um, it gives you PSA 10 is the price that pops up there. But as you scroll down, you see raw prices. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to my collection. I'm going to click raw to add one. 
And then I'm gonna show you collection real quick of just what it looks like. So I've added a few cards in here. I definitely haven't added my whole collection, but a few of them that I have, and it's gonna give you sort of percentages of the increase or decrease of prices and um, give you an overall collection value, which I think is pretty neat. Um, so it's as accurate as the input you give this, but also it's only as accurate as the eBay prices. So we've all seen crazy sales where we're like, there's no way that's shill bidded or, you know, just something crazy happens. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's a pretty cool app and I love to use it for trading. The other day I traded with a, a buddy of mine and scanned in, um, I think about 20 cards and it took me just a few minutes to scan them, get an idea of the value. And one of the concerns was how accurate is the value on these? So what I did just to give you an idea for this Joe Burrow, um, we saw that it was uh, the prices that were listed uh, were $20 and $25 were the most recent sales. So what I did is I went into eBay and actually checked this and you can see that the first two sales that pop up is February 13th, $20, and then the next one, $25. So it is accurate from the sales. As you can see, $20 and $25 were the two options. Um, and it doesn't take into account shipping. So as you're looking at values, it's just looking at the sale price. It's not factoring in shipping. And a lot of people do use shipping to make money, um, extra money, especially on eBay. But... Anyway, I wanted to point this out to you guys. Uh, if you're big in trading or if you really want an easy way to track your collection uh, rather than going to sites like eBay, 130 point, card snoop, those types of things, uh, you know, it's a quick way to track, get, you know, pretty accurate pricing um, and have an idea of what your uh, whole collection's worth. So hope this was helpful. Uh, please don't uh, hesitate to hit that like button, help me out of the channel, um, and uh, subscribe. I appreciate the subscriptions again. Um, love collecting, love doing this stuff, and I uh, hope you guys get some uh, enjoyment and knowledge out of these videos. Uh, talk to you soon. Thanks, everyone.